Welcome back to Cost Management Course. For today, we will continue topic about strategy and the master budget. The learning objectives of these chapters are describe the role of budgets in the overall management process, discuss the importance of strategy and its role in the master budgeting process, provide an overview of the budgeting process, and prepare a master budget and explain the interrelationships among its supporting schedules, and then identify unique budgeting characteristics of service firms, international firms, and not-for-profit organizations. Understand zero-based, activity-based, and Kaizen approach to budgeting. Discuss the application of integrated budgeting and planning tools, and discuss the role of ethics and behavioral considerations in budgeting. Okay, we will continue with basic terminology. Okay, what is budget? A budget is a financial or non-financial expression of a plan of action for a specified period. Identifies the resources and commitments required to achieve the organization's goal for an upcoming period. That's budget. And how about budgeting? Budgeting is the process of preparing budget. Yeah. Jadi, uh, so, budgeting is the process of preparing a budget. Now we continue with strategic goals and long-term objectives. Now, the starting point in the budget preparation process is specification of the organization's strategy. An organization expresses its strategic goals and long-term objectives in its capital and master budgets. Long-range planning often entails capital budgeting, which is a process for evaluating, selecting, and financing major projects such as purchases of new factory equipment and construction of a new factory. The master budget. What is master budget? Master budget represents the grand plan of action for an upcoming period. It translates the organization's short-term objectives into action steps, then culminates in the preparation of a set of pro-forma financial statements, communicates to employees and managers alike the expectation of top management, helps coordinate subunit activities. So the master budget is very essential for the organization. The master budget is made up of operating and financial budgets. Operating budgets are plans that identify resources needed to carry out the budgeted activities such as sales and service or production. Operating budgets include production, purchase, personnel, and marketing budget. For financial budgets, identify sources and uses of funds for the budget operation. Financial budgets include the cash budget, budgeted statement of cash flow, the budgeted balance sheet, and the capital expenditures budget. Now we talk about the budgeting process. The budget committee is the highest authority in an organization for all matters related to the budget. Determination of the budget period. Generally, a fiscal year with sub-period budgets prepared for each quarter or month. A continuous or rolling budget is a budget system that has a budget for a set number of months, quarters, or years at all times as one period ends, another is added.
Now, how to prepare individual budgets? There are three step processes. First, uh, define the bottom line information contained in the budget, for example, sales for the upcoming period. Then, second one, determine what this information is a function of. Example, budgeted unit sales, budgeted selling price per unit. And the third, put together information in a user-friendly way. Sales budget. The sales budget is often referred to as the cornerstone of the entire master budget. The sales budget has two components forecasted sales volume and budgeted selling prices. This is the sample of sales budget from Kerry Industrial Company. Sales budget for the quarter ended June 30, 2007. This is the component of sales budget, yeah, sales in unit and multiple with selling price per unit, it become total sales. Yeah. Quarter is the total of April, May, and June. Now we move to production budget. After the sales budget, we prepare a production budget which shows planned production for a given period. Budgeted production can be calculated through use of the following formula. Budgeted production, yeah, this is in unit, equal budgeted sales in unit, plus desired ending inventory in unit, minus beginning inventory all in unit. This is the formula. A carry example yeah, for carry industrial company. Beginning inventory for April 1 is 5,000 units. And then the side and the inventory April 30th uh, 30% of the following month's projected unit sales. The sale budget has total sales for May at 25,000 units. Okay, how about budgeted production for April? Yeah, the formula budgeted production for April, you can see here. Budgeted production equal budgeted sales plus desire and the inventory minus beginning inventory. Yeah, this one. Budgeted production is budgeted sales plus desire ending level yeah, at April 30 minus inventory from April 1. This data is given. Yeah. It's also given from the sales budget here. Sales in unit total 20,000. Yeah, budget itself 20,000. And this one, desired ending level at April is from here. 30% of the following month. So 30% of 25,000 unit. Yeah, this May sales you can see here. Following month May. Yeah, so desired ending level at April is thirty percent multiple May sales. Yeah, twenty five thousand units. So desired ending level at April is two thousand and five hundred units. So, budgeted, budgeted production for April is 22,500 units. And this is 
here the example of production budget from carry industrial com company from April to June. And this is the quarter. You can use the same formula as example for April. Okay, now we move to direct materials budget. The direct materials usage budget uh, shows the amount and cost of direct materials required for budgeted production. The last line of the production budget equal first line of the direct materials usage budget. The direct materials purchases budget contains budgeted purchases in unit and dollars of direct materials for the upcoming period. It's needed to complete the direct materials usage budget in example provides unit cost data. It's a function of materials required for production from materials usage budget, target and the inventory of material, beginning of varied materials inventory, budgeted purchase price per unit of raw material. This is the example of direct materials purchase budget from Carey Industrial Company. Yeah, from April until June. Yeah, you can see from your ebook as well. Yeah, to uh, check the example of material purchase budget. Now we move to direct labor budget. It enables the personal department to plan for hire, hiring and repositioning of employees based on production need. It's prepared for each class type of labor, example skill and semi skill. It's a function of budgeted output from production budget. Standard labor hours for, per unit of output and standard wage rate per hours. Direct labor budget, uh, for example, carry use carry uses 0.5 hours of semi skill labor and 0.2 hours of skill labor per unit at standard wage rates of at dollars and 12 dollars per hour respectively this is direct labor budget for carry company care industrial company for the quarter and the june 30 2007 each unit of output requires 0.5 hours of semi skill labor at a dollar per hours and 0.2 hours of skill labor at the of dollar per hours. So this is budgeted production. Semi skill labor is from budgeted production multiple 0.5 multiple 8 dollar per hour so it become yeah, the total semi skill labor cost is 90,000. And for skill labor hours is from budgeted production multiple 0.2 hour skill labor multiple 12 dollar so 45,000 and the total labor cost is semi skill labor plus skill labor
general cost of goods manufactured and cost of goods budget. The cost of goods manufactured and CGS budget are prepared after the factory overhead budget is prepared. The income statement budget and the balance sheet use information from this budget. This is the example of cost of goods manufacture and CGS budget. Then we continue with selling and administrative expense budget. The selling and general administrative expenses budget is now prepared. This budget includes all the planned expenditures for selling and general administrative activities. Many of the expenses included in this budget are considered discretionary and are likely placed for spending cuts. Then, manager must be careful not to focus solely on short-term effects when making cuts in this area. Example, customer service expenditures. This is the example of Kelly Company cash receipt budget for April 2007. Now we move to cash budget. The cash budget brings together the cash effects of all budgeted activities to ensure that the firm has adequate cash on hand. This budget generally has three sections, cash available, cash disbursement, and financing. Preparation of this budget involves careful review of all other budgets to identify cash inflows and outflows. This is the example of cash budget for Kerry Company in April 2007. So the cash available, cash disbursement, and financing. Okay, now we move to budgeted income statement and budgeted balance sheet. The budgeted income statement and budgeted balance sheets can then be prepared using all the aforementioned budget. The budgeted income statement describes the expected operating income for the upcoming period. The budgeted balance sheet, the last budget in the budget preparation process, incorporates the effects of all operation and cash flows during the budget period and shows projected ending balance in asset liability and equity accounts. Budgeting in service company. This firm, yeah, service company have different operating characteristics, operating environment, and considerations than those of manufacturing and merchandising firm. Service firms are different due to the absence of production or merchandise purchase budget and their ancillary budgets. The focus of the budgeting process must be personal planning. Thus, the firm have sufficient staff and resources to provide the expected level of service output in the upcoming period. And the staff members have the appropriate skills. How about budgeting in international firms and not-for-profit organization? International firms face additional challenges due to cultural and language differences. The similar political and legal environments, fluctuating monetary and exchange rates, and discrepancies in inflation rates of different countries. And non-for-profit organizations have no single bottom line that serves as a verifiable goal in budgeting. There is no clear standard by which to measure performance. The budget shows estimated revenues and plan activities, 
the budget must show the organization can at least break even. Alternative budgeting approaches. Zero-based budgeting is a budgeting process that requires managers to prepare budgets from a zero base. This type of budgeting allows no activity or function to be included in the budget unless managers can justify their need. In chart reviews and analysis of all budget items, make managers aware of activities and functions that have outlived their usefulness. Alternative budgeting approach can be difficult and time-consuming process. Activity-based budgeting is a budgeting process based on activities and cost drivers of operation. Start with budgeted output and segregate costs required for the budgeted output into homogeneous cost pool. It can be a simple extension of Occam's ABC system. Kaizen or, uh, Kaizen or Continuous Improvement Budgeting incorporates continuous improvement expectation into the budget. It promotes active engagement in reforming and altering business practices and process. Okay, what is behavioral issues in budgeting? There are some behavioral issues. For example, budgetary slack or printing the budget is the practice of managers knowingly including a higher amount of expenditures or a lower amount of revenue in a budget. Spending the budget is another issue. Managers often feel if they do not use all the resources they receive, next year budgets might be cut. Goal concurrence is a term that refers to the degree of consistency between goals of the firm, its subunit, and its employees. Involving employees in the budgeting process fosters goal concurrence. The last, it's still related to behavior issues in budgeting. Difficulty level of the budget culture. An easy budget may fail to encourage employees to give their best efforts, while a very difficult target can be discouraged manager from even trying. A highly achievable target is suggested with incentive for achieving the budgeted target. And there's a question, authoritative or participative budgeting? Okay, top-down budgeting is referred to as authoritative budgeting, while bottom-up budgeting is referred to as participative budgeting. Effective budgeting processes often combine the two types, yeah, combine authoritative budgeting and participative budgeting. Okay, that's all. This is just chapter summary. You can read by yourself from the top point. Okay, thank you very much for your kind attention and have a nice day.